What drew me to MMA? Um, I was at work um, about three, three and a half years ago, and one of the guys I worked with came in with, uh, with a jiu-jitsu shirt from a different school, and after about two weeks of talking me into it, I just showed up and uh, never stopped training since then, and just tried to try to get my game to evolve a little bit more, and eventually got into got into MMA after competing just in jiu-jitsu for a few years. I don't like being in there a minute longer than I have to. I mean, I know some people like like title fights that go all five rounds. First, I'm trying to I'm trying to finish the fight as soon as I can. Um, we're do, we're doing a lot of work with my hands this this training camp, but the ground is is where I'm I'm most comfortable. That's where I look for my finishes. So whether whether ground and pound, whether submission whether knockout on the feet I'm, I'm just trying to finish it we have uh, we have worked our worked our butts off to scout him it's it was hard finding a lot of info on this guy even with uh, even with eight wins and two losses you know we couldn't find a whole lot of video on him uh, we found one video where he was uh, where he was still fighting at heavyweight and it looked just like a kind of a typical heavyweight fight not really technical but a lot of power a lot of aggression, a lot of just straightforward movement, and um, then we actually saw him fight in um, in Richmond, Virginia, a couple weeks ago when he was down to 205. Looked like he was a lot more comfortable with that weight class. He looked like he was moving a little better. Um, still, a very, very aggressive, heavy on. He took this guy down with a pretty mean throw, so he's got some strength to him. Got a little bit of power and. Once he established his dominant position on top, he was able to finish the guy with the, the far side Kimura. So he has some, he has some technical jujitsu. He has some heavy top pressure. Um, I don't think he hit the guy a lot, from uh, at least from what I remember from watching the videos. So and we just gotta gotta make sure that he adjusts to my game plan, and that I, I pressure him, that he doesn't he doesn't close the gap on his terms and control me. I want to make sure that I make him adjust to my style and I control the fight and I take everything to where I want it to go. Um, and when, when, camp, when camp is in, um, it's, everything has to be by the book, but whenever, whenever I don't have something coming up, man, you know, I'm, I'm out just being, being a knucklehead like everybody else. It's uh, not something I can do on a regular basis, but uh, I mean, when it's time to when it's time to have fun, it's time to have fun. When it's time to work, it's time to work. No, not especially. I mean, you know, just hope he's training hard and brings a good fight. Cause I mean, we're we're getting me ready, uh, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a show. But I uh, just want to thank uh, everyone at Operation Octagon for giving me a chance to uh, to just get out there, get out there to fight for the try to fight for the belt. Um, Got to thank my team. I mean, I wouldn't be here if uh, if it wasn't for them. Just kicking my ass every day so that's that's really about it man